Hi, I'm Roy Williams with Airframe Components and today our topic of discussion is Cessna 200 series elevator trailing edges. This particular elevator here is a left hand elevator. Uh, the component that we're concerned with today is the trailing edge segment about the last six to eight inches of the elevator. The original style of trailing edge segment had a foam core which tended to hold water and moisture which would in turn cause corrosion of the trailing edge segment. The proper way to address this corrosion issue on the trailing edge segment of the elevators is to remove the old style foam filled trailing edge segment and replace it with a new style trailing edge that does not have the foam core. The original foam trailing edge segment can easily be identified by rivets along the trailing edge. The new style trailing edge segment is a single piece folded over skin with no foam core. This can be identified by just the bent skin with no rivets in the trailing edge. The proper way to address this corrosion issue would be to remove the fasteners along the rear spar of the elevator, remove the foam filled trailing edge segment from the elevator, replace it with a new style trailing edge, and then rivet it back into place. Many shops will do this in the field by simply installing the new trailing edge segment and using blind fasteners along the rear spar. Elevators being sent to airframe components for trailing edge replacement are treated to a different standard of workmanship. Elevators coming to our facility have the top skin removed from the structure, allowing us access to the interior of the elevator. While the upper skin is removed from the elevator surface, the interior is cleaned and epoxy primed. We also take that opportunity to reshoot all of the rivets in the elevator torque tube area. These rivets are subjected to a shear load and have a tendency to work and loosen over time. So this is a good opportunity to address those rivets as well. Once the new trailing edge segment is installed on the elevator, the upper skin is reinstalled on the elevator using all solid rivets, uh, using the original factory size of rivets, original factory spacing of rivets, so that once the elevator is painted and reinstalled on the aircraft, you cannot tell it has been removed from the aircraft. During a reassembly of the elevator structure, we install the structure in our jigging fixtures, maintaining alignment of the hinge brackets, maintaining the cord line of the elevator as well. Installing the structure in the jigging fixture also ensures that the trailing edge is lined up perfectly with the remaining structure of the elevator. Misalignment of the trailing edge will create a trim tab effect of the elevator, causing the aircraft to fly incorrectly. We also take this opportunity to install new tip plastic on the elevator as well. 